Hi, I'm Dr. Bhumika Batra and welcome back to our channel at Bhumi Learning. Today, I'm here to share with you all the experience we had from one of the another predatory journeys. Nowadays, every research scholar and professors are struggling to get their paper published in Scopus Index Journal. And any sort of predatory deals, if you come across that attracts you, yes, by paying so and so amount, our paper will get published. So it's not wrong to pay for a paper publication, but please be aware where you are paying and where your paper is going, whether it's to original or it's a predatory. Because every open access original journal also charge their APC. APC is article processing charges. So there is no harm in paying for your article publication if you are going for the open access only. But if not, then please be aware where you are sending and to whom you are sending. I'll just walk you through with our experience with one of the journal Seabold report. So the journal name which I just referred Seabold report. Yes, this is the original website seaboldreport.net. We are on it and it looks like this. And before submitting anywhere, we always have a habit of checking the journal if it is indexed in which quartile of Scopus. So we are on now Shimago journal and country rank. Here, we just put the name Seabold first result and we are right here on the Seabold report and found this is a quartile 3 index journal. So this of course attracts you that yes it's Q3 Scopus index publish our paper and of course university has this requirement for so and so reasons. Wait. <laughs> Let's come back to the original website seaboldreport.net. On this website, they have clearly mentioned how to identify fake journals. <laughs> See, journal name Seabold Report. Yes, original also Seabold Report. What's wrong here? Seabold Report. Will you able to differentiate it? This Seabold Report font with this font. Yes, it's in capital letters, the original one. And the one which is fake is in running hands. Seabold report. Second, the Seabold report with different colors, different fonts, different way of writing. And the most important is if you are getting if you are on this website, seaboldreport.org, but you see the original is seaboldreport.net. On their website only, they have clearly stated the emails originating from editor at seaboldreport.org are fraudulent. These emails are from fake website that could include a request to submit articles and prompts to publish. And yes, they are doing the same. That's the only deal which attracts research aspirants. One of our clients got acknowledgement for publication from the same ID which also asks for some handsome APC. However, before paying it is always better to cross check. If you are still unsure about it, let us know the name of the journal and we will guide you. You can check the description box below to reach us. See you.